Welcome fellow Airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the app called ATAC and all the uses that we have. So stick around. Alright, so at this point we've gotten the files that we need. Uh, depending on which way you've been doing it, if you've been uh, following along on your device of choice and already downloading the files, uh, you could probably just move them over to your SD card if you have one. Uh, unfortunately with so many devices out there on the market, I can't exactly walk you through uh, those steps. Most of them are pretty standard, but uh, if you're unsure on how to do that, you might have to go through uh, YouTube or uh, Google it and figure that out. If you've been downloading them on your computer, uh, there's a couple options we have. Uh, the one that I did that I found to be the easiest was uh, I just upload those files onto my Google Drive, and then I was able to download that on the device. Uh, for the demonstrations here, I'm going to be using the Samsung S7 that I got off of eBay for like 30 bucks or something, and we can uh, file the steps along. I'll be doing a screen uh, recording that I'll be dropping here somewhere in a little bit to show these process. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and hop over and start that process. So now what you're going to see is, uh, everyone's phone going to be a little different, but this is how I have mine set up. And Samsung has the ability to get into your um, folder here. And what I've got is that uh, first and foremost, we need to get ATAC. So right here, I've got the ATAC 4.4. And... You might see a little bit of a different screen here, but for the most part, you'll get something similar to this. Uh, sometimes there's a small icon in the bottom corner that will show like a weird Android looking thing. It'll say like device install or something. Uh, you can select that. But in this case, I'm just going to hit this one. And Android's going to do its thing and install ATAC. So we'll give that a couple seconds for it to establish and so on and so forth. Um, this is going to be one of the bigger files. So, okay. Now you can open, but for now I'm going to just hit done because we're going to get some of those other stuff installed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take like the camera, APK. It's going to look like the same thing. Go ahead and install that. And da -da -da -da. good, done. Uh, image markup, same thing, install. It's easier just to do all this now instead of trying to hop in and hop back and forth. So now we'll take the night vision one and install. Good. We are done there. And now we will go to um, the forwarder plugin. Go ahead and install. And we are all set there. Now these other zip files, uh, we'll be importing them in a minute, but uh, we can just take a look at it. So like here is the um, plugin for, let me try to put this to the side, because I think this is the WA, yeah, this is the WASP. So here you can see that there is an APK file. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and unzip this. So now we have that APK file that we want. I'm going to take that. It's like, would you like to install? Sure would. And we are all set for the plugins and everything that we need here. So I just want to double check that all we've got left is, yeah, all we got left is the master uh, zip for those uh, Josh files that we got for the maps. And then the uh, world map for the DTED. So that initial setup is good to go. All right, so now that process is all set, let's now dive into uh, ATAC and get some of those other files in and start to get a kind of first view at this. So on my screen here, I've already dropped the ATAC uh, shortcut onto my home screen. But uh, if it's not there, a lot of times you can go under your app setting and you'll see it located right in there uh, and whatnot. So that one's a little different, but nonetheless. So now I will click that bad boy. And first, we are going to see uh, terms and conditions of sort. Um, I guess you could hit refuse, but um, anyway, uh, it says, <laughs> why would you hit refuse? Oh, boy. Um, so first, it's going to ask for your location. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to deny that. It really doesn't need it. You can set that in your phone at any time. You don't have to just right away do that. Uh, now it's going to ask, hey, can we be allowed for pictures and videos? You want to say yes, because when we start to take 
pictures and stuff, you can attach them. So we'll allow that. Uh, access to your media, sure. Um, make and manage phone calls. It's going to need this for uh, mostly your microphone and so forth. Uh, be able to send text. Uh, you can allow for that. You can say no, but uh, record audio, allow. And then allow for the device to get the location. This is different. It's asking, hey, can we get this uh, location when you know you allow us to? And it can hit allow. And then it's going to do its initial setup, and then we will get into the maps. So it takes a little bit. All right. So now here we are. So it's uh, initial setup of this device. It's going to say a whole bunch of options here. Um, these are stuff we will start to see uh, more and more. Um, there's the call sign identity, data package, plugins, imports, and so forth. Um, for starters right now, what we're going to do is go to plugins because all those ones that we installed on our device, sometimes in ATAC you need to import them and or set them up. Uh, you'll see what we mean. So I'm going to click on the plugins and right here uh, you will see um, all the ones that we've done. And you'll see, for example, ATAC border, how it says uh, not loaded. If you hit that, it's going to say, hey, you know, it's already there. It's compatible. You want us to load it? Sure do. So now it's loaded. Good to go. Uh, you'll see that the image markup tool that's installed and current. Uh, Night vision installed and current. And the geocam installed current. And then finally, the wide area search plugin loaded. We'll go ahead and load that. So all those ones that we have installed, ATAC recognized and we're good to go. If they didn't, for whatever reason, up towards the top, you'll see those two blue uh, circle style arrows. You can hit that and it'll say, hey, you know, we'll look for those products. And you can hit OK and it was search form. In this case, again, we're all good to go. But if they didn't show up, that would be a way to bring them in. So now these are all set to go. Those maps that we got from Josh Fuller and the DT, EM, whatever. Let's get those guys in. How do we do that? Well, we can go to import files and then here's your choices of the different ones. Uh, we'll, we'll use them as we go, but for now we're just going to sort of say the local SD. And for organizational purposes, I usually just try to go with the date to get it close and then you may have to search down uh, for a while here until you find it. And I'm going to be doing that right now. I'm going to try to see if find them okay go all the way back here okay here we go maybe so why did I search okay yep so it takes a little bit <laughs> but uh, that's why I pay attention to the names can help you so like right now that AT can I talk today <laughs> okay so maps master we're gonna hit that first so you hit that select and then hit okay and then you'll see data package added if it didn't it would see an error of some sort um, so now we're going to get that other one too. So we're going to come back we go to here. Let's go to date and should be right there. The D T E D hit. Okay. And it's a pretty big file. So this one might take a little bit. Okay, well, for now we will hit done. And then disable battery optimization. All right, that must just be on this phone. Uh, this will be able to run in the background. Sure. GPS warning. Gotcha, bud. Okay, yep. That's where we would turn it on if we wanted. I'm just going to go back. And now we are here. And for the first setup, you're going to see kind of like, what the heck is this? That's what you're going to see kind of stuff. Uh, we'll go through it. Right now, we've at least gotten uh, this far and this setup. And in the next video, we will start to uh, dive into ATAC a little more. Um, initial setup, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, we'll just start playing around with it whatnot. We've at least gotten uh, this. Uh, I encourage you, you can go around and, you know, play around with it, hit buttons. Uh, I don't want to go as far as say you won't break it, because you probably could. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, there it is. Hey, it finally came up. So... Um, let's see, uh, zipped 
Whoop, don't turn off on me now. Okay, so <laughs> the fun of technology. All right, so now that we're back here, uh, it's got the zipped uh, DTED imagery. Um, I'm just going to hit the zipped one and let ATAC import and do its thing. So now you see how it's importing all of these files and whatnot. So you're just going to let it do its thing. So again, that's because it was such a big file like that, that's why it took so long. So we're just going to let it do uh, its importing thing. And again, what this data file is, it's to help us get a little bit more uh, elevation information that uh, we'll see in later demonstrations. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it do that. Uh, but basically, this is about it that we are going to do in this video. In the next one, uh, we'll do some more uh, walkthrough. So see you in the next one.